your tax. Owe me back like you owe 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 your tax. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be really, really quick. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on protective styling method for the hair affinity and also show you guys a little tutorial. Just know how I do my hair, how I install my twists, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. So I have in about four and a half packs of the sensual Marley hair. I'm gonna leave it linked down below um, what it looks like and I also have a picture on the screen. But um, yeah, so these are the Marley twists and I really do like using Marley twists opposed to like regular Kankalon hair and other types of synthetic hair like maybe Expression because Marley hair really does mimic natural hair and you can do a lot with marley hair um when you get it, it already comes out sectioned for you so if you are lazy like i am you don't even have to worry about sectioning the hair it all comes like sectioned for you like one by one you don't have to have hair everywhere it's not messy or anything it's very easy to wash and reuse so um i'm definitely going to be reusing this hair whether it be with more twists chunky twists um crochet braids or even if i wanted to like take the hair comb it out and use it for a bun I could do that as well because it does mimic my type 4 natural hair which I'm like a 4A 4B 4C I don't know I feel like I'm everything but it does mimic my natural hair in that sense and I have this hair in the color 1B my twists are like not all perfect at all like I feel like that's the beauty of natural hair it's pretty much perfectly imperfect like it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be neat it's just like do your twist and go like I really like the aspect of the hair um to install this hair I really needed nothing besides some shea butter some gel and a comb and that is it I didn't even blow out my hair prior to doing this so you guys will see um in the clip that I show you guys my hair is not blown out or anything I just made sure that my hair was detangled properly and that was it um, I paid about five dollars per pack and I purchased seven packs and I only used four four and a half so that means I have extra hair for um, a bun or chunky twist or any other style that I feel like I need additional hair so yeah I hope you guys like this video make sure you guys are following me on my hair growth journey with hairfinity so these are the hairfinity vitamins and I'm no way being sponsored to talk about hairfinity at all I just want to show you guys what the vitamins look like for reference the vitamins are pretty big they're about this big so you have to take two of these a day with food and water and that's pretty much it and that's my plan on how to grow my hair so along with the hair affinity I'm um, protective styling so you want to make sure that you're doing some protective style of some point and I really do enjoy having Marley twist in my hair it's easy to do they last a long time and I can also be washing co-washing my hair and taking care of it a, a nice change opposed to wigs because I really got tired of waking up with them freaking braids every morning so now I can wake up cute and if you've never tried Marley Twist go ahead and try them um, this is the 40 inch pack by the way it comes about like 20 inches on me because once you fold it in half to do the twist it's half so if you don't want to use or if you don't want to purchase that much hair you could always cut the twisting hair in half and then it'd probably be like shoulder length so that's pretty much all I have to say Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe on all my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, so first thing is I'm starting off with my hair already basically done. I just made sure to save one section for you guys, but this is how it's looking. And it's not like all perfect same sizes or anything, but you know. Next, I'm going to use some leave-in conditioner. This is the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. And I really do like this conditioner for my fine textured hair um i feel like it does give my hair some moisture as well as help you know keep it strong and healthy and it's also kind of a lightweight type of leave-in conditioner kind of watery too but i'm just going to make sure i put that through my hair and i'm taking this comb and i'm more so picking my hair not really combing it because my hair has already been sectioned off and detangled so I like to do the perimeter of my hair first so even with the back I do the perimeter first because I make the perimeter a little bit bigger the sections in the front a little bit bigger than the rest of my hair so since my hair is fine one thing I do like about Marley hair is that the hair is thick so I don't have to worry about sectioning off hair 
Um, to do these twists, all I'm using is shea butter and eco styler gel, or you can use a hair wax if you want. And this is the hair I'm using. This is sen sensual Marley hair. So the first thing I do when I'm doing Marley twist is I take one section of my hair and I basically use that to create a braid with the Marley hair. So I tried to zoom in as close as I could here, but if you guys look, you can see that I just take the Marley hair and I bring it as close to the root of my hair and I pretty much use my hair as a third strand and I braid down until I feel comfortable enough with like the twist like until I feel like my hair isn't going to stick out so that's usually about an inch so I usually braid about an inch of the hair and I just twist it down with this hair you guys want to make sure that you are um, twisting tight because it's going to loosen up and it's going to get a little bit bigger so you want to twist it tight or if you want looser twists you can do them looser but I like to twist mine as tight as possible because they usually um, not unravel but they just loosen up and as you guys can see I add a little bit more gel as I go down so I'm making sure I pull the hair down so it doesn't get tangled and I'm just twisting so I'm going to show you guys it again. I just add some shea butter, add some gel, add the Marley hair. And I kind of twist the Marley hair before I bring it close to my hair. And I also put a little bit of that hair gel on the Marley hair just so it looks neat and it has a bit shine to it. But the good thing about Marley hair is it kind of really mimics my hair. So I don't really worry about making my parts too perfect or anything like that. I just, I just feel like this is an easy style. So if you're not good at braiding, I feel like Marley twists could be like the thing for you because they're the thing for me. And I just twist all the way down, all the way, all the way, all the way. Hold me back like you owe your tax. 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 So I was showing you guys the perimeter of my hair or my edges are pretty big so I have about what eight braids or ten braids in the front but the braids that are on the sides and the center of my head are usually smaller because I want my hair to still look like full so I usually make those a little bit smaller but like I said that's the good thing about Marley hair you don't have to worry about like sectioning off the hair and it's also pretty lightweight like my hair does not feel heavy my head does not hurt so I just kind of repeat the same steps throughout and yeah that's pretty much the best way I can explain this process to you guys so I'm just going to let you guys watch I'll come right back Okay, so this is the next day and I was already ready to like film this video and 
basically edit and put it up so i just braid my hair in two braids just to i don't know why i do this actually because i'm not trying to make the hair wavy or anything but i'm going to be dipping it in boiling hot water so this is me dipping the ends in the hot water and i leave it on for about a minute or so probably maybe like three minutes max depends on how i feel and i also dip that towel into the hot water and i just distribute it throughout my hair to make sure the hair is not stiff or hard or anything it kind of helps the fibers loosen up and that's pretty much it so um i hope this video was useful i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll see you in the next one like you owe your tax